I get so many questions about these characters. I've made videos in the past talking about this on a smaller scale, but I really want a one-stop shop to explain this entire situation. So if you ever see somebody getting confused about this, or you yourself are confused about this, remember to link this video or come back to it. Believe me, I understand the confusion. On the outside, Jump Force sounds like the game that brings together all of anime, but that's not the case. But Jump Force is being published by Bandai Namco, so surely that means that Jump Force is about bringing together all of the anime that Bandai Namco has access to. That's also not quite right. Jump Force is, however, the celebration of weekly Shonen Jump, so that means Natsu should be able to get in, right? No, that's not quite right either, because Natsu is a part of Fairy Tale, and Fairy Tale is a part of Weekly Shonen Magazine, which is owned by a different company, Kodansha. We're talking about a different company called Shoeisha. So that means Saitama can be in Jump Force, right? Because Shoeisha owns that character. Nope, Shoeisha is celebrating only one of their magazines called Weekly Shonen Jump. Saitama is a part of a different magazine called Young Jump. They own the rights to both Young Jump and Weekly Shonen Jump, but we're only specifically celebrating Weekly Shonen Jump, which is their primary magazine. But Bilbsy, look, Saitama is in Weekly Shonen Jump. Nope, that's actually the English publication, which is not what we're celebrating here. We're celebrating Shoeisha's Japanese Weekly Shonen Jump magazine, which I personally think is oddly specific, but regardless, it's what we're doing. You may still be wondering how to figure out all of this stuff, and I think the best way to do it is to type in the name of your franchise into Google or your preferred search engine. For example, let's go with Full Metal Alchemist. Then click on the Wikipedia, the official Wikipedia for that. You might have to type in manga and not anime to get the specific manga page. Then you should be able to go to the manga section and you should see the manga title. Make sure that it's not the English magazine because, of course, the English Weekly Shonen Jump is not what you're looking for. For example, some characters will show up as Weekly Shonen Jump underneath the English listing because, of course, that's where they get published in English. Also, be careful to not confuse Weekly Young Jump or Weekly Shonen Magazine with Weekly Shonen Jump, which is what you're actually looking for. I know, it's all very, very confusing. But as long as you can match up Weekly Shonen Jump as the primary magazine, not the English magazine, that character has a chance of being in Jump Force, excluding a few weird exceptions, like copyrights being taken away from characters like Shaman King, which I don't believe Shoeisha owns the rights to anymore. I think some other company does. Don't quote me on that one because I'm not actually sure. Again, I know it's really confusing. Believe me, it's really frustrating the amount of research I have to do for a lot of these videos, but that's what you have to do if you need to figure out whether a character has a chance or not. I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it wasn't a particularly long one, but I wanted to go over this because again, I feel like a lot of people forget this. I see people posting things about will Saitama make it or anything like that. And Saitama definitely has the highest chances of any of the characters mentioned in this video because of course, Saitama is actually owned by Shoeisha, where the rest of these companies are just completely different, but he's still not in the correct magazine. They own the rights for it, but as of right now, it doesn't look like they're going to be using Young Jump characters. Again, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this one or you found it informative in any way, remember to leave a like on it. It helps other people find the video, and I think this is one of the most important videos to spread because this information is really valuable, I think, because I don't want people out there getting excited about characters that can't make it in. So you should be able to figure out what characters have a chance and what characters don't based on the information I give in this video, and again, I think that's really valuable. I want to thank you for your support recently. My name's been Bilbsy, and I'll see you in the next video.